In southwest London, there's a group of committed individuals who meet monthly, determined to clean up a tributary of the Thames, the River Wandle. Hi, Jill. Hi. Uh, right. <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> Welcome to uh, our little patch of the Dirty Wandle. I'm very impressed. This is a, this is a mammoth operation going on here. Yes, um, it's slightly never-ending one as well. Um, I mean, we were last here in April doing exactly the same thing. And there's so much stuff here. Yes, um, it seems to be a very, it's a local fly tipping spot. Wherever you've got good access to the river. Okay, it's easy for us to get it and clear it out, but it's also really easy for people to dump the rubbish in. So what sort of things do you find here? All sorts. Shopping trolleys, you might have noticed one or two. Um, we had motorbikes, 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 all sorts, lots of plastics. We actually had a whole staircase out of a house once. No. It's just unbelievable. So why do you do what you do? First of all, I quite like getting dirty and I love being outdoors. But also, more seriously, it's really nice to be able to do something in the community that you live in to put something back. This group was started by a bunch of fishermen and there's a lot of history with brown trout with the river and they're very keen to see brown trout flourishing again in the river. And then you get people like myself who've got more of a kind of environmental conservation angle. And we seem to rub along reasonably well together because we've got the same goal to improve the quality of this river. I can't wait to see what emerges up. Jill, I can't believe in such a short space of time you collected this. I know, it's quite incredible and by the same token quite shocking as well. This location is relatively easy pickings for us because there is just so much stuff that regularly gets dumped here because of the easy access. If people are watching this and they feel inspired, how do they get involved with rivers near them? I think the first thing you need to do is... Well, get the word out and see if you can get a group of like-minded people together. Um, you might do that through leafleting along the river bank. Um, we attract a lot of people via our website, so that, that's a good vehicle. Don't you ever get disillusioned and think that's it, had enough? No. No, I think it just adds to the challenge and we will succeed and we're just going to stick with it. This tireless clean-up campaign